Hello out there in YouTube land. Welcome back. We're going to have a creepy cute unboxing video. Creepy cute unboxing video. I'm going to talk about my wig in just one mo. But first, it's a creepy cute unboxing video. So guys, uh, it's been a hot minute since I've done a creepy cute unboxing video. If you don't know what this is about, it's not one box, because I used to do the Spooky Box Club and I got really disenfranchised with them. And so I decided what I would do is I would support small local businesses and you guys are welcome to put suggestions under any of the creepy cute ones if you've seen things and you're like, I think you might need to see this. And this month we're giving back to the community uh, just because you guys have given me so much and I'm still here because of you guys. Uh, you guys helped me so so much and I want to start giving back a little bit so what I'm going to do is with the creepy cutes maybe every month I'll look at it financially and have a look uh, but definitely this month it's going to be a giveaway as well so for certain products that I really loved and thought you guys might really love I've ordered two and they will all go into the giveaway box and also there's going to be things you guys don't know about secrets dirty secrets so <laughs> yes it's going to be one of those also i am feeling the return of the wiggy i'm feeling it i see i bought this wig purely because i was like i want like a wig that's kind of banshee so i can do some some photo <laughs> photography that is a little bit more girl and more like his a little scary and i put this wig on i was like no this is fabulous this is just this wig is fabulous darling at least i know i'll age well i mean i know what to do with my hair when i age <laughs> just you know this kind of gorgeousness here i'm loving it loving it so the thing about this month's creepy cute is it's from several different places a few things are actually gifts i decided not to make a yule unboxing video for a number of reasons one i was sick <laughs> and i was tired and sick and tired i've been sick and tired guys i think like all of the ick and the blah, blah, blah from the last year just like was like we need to purge and every which that i know every person of like spiritual denomination who i know is a kick ass mostly ladies but guys too there's a couple of guys too they were super sick over that like the end of 2018 into the beginning of 2019 and we're nearly at the end of january because i've been you know purging all this shies and <laughs> there you go so center so I really want to show you guys a number of different bits and pieces and I'll tell you guys where everything is from and which pieces will be in the giveaway. So firstly we have Glitter Punk. So I got a few little bits and pieces from Glitter Punk. I don't know how well it's going to focus in on here. We'll find out in the future. And first it came in this gorgeous packaging. Oh, I quite often reuse things like this uh, because I think it's, you know, better for the environment and whatnot to reuse your packaging. Um, I didn't know about this one. <laughs> I mean, it's the kind of thing you would stick on your wall, like do some art and crafts with it if I was arts and craftsy, which I'm not really in that sense. <laughs> but I thought I would show you these gorgeous, gorgeous things from witchy witchyglitterpunk.co.uk. So it's actually glitterpunk.co.uk okay, it's not witchy it's just i thought they were witchy and i inserted witchy in there so you're welcome that's how my brain went <coughs> so these are the first things these are stickers you guys know how i feel about stickers right i don't know what this voice is right here but apparently this voice is for stickers it's my basic bitch voice apparently for stickers i like to stick things onto other things it's life-changing <laughs> but it is it's fun and the fun thing about my stickers is something that is super freaking Virgo which is they're on my recipe spell books upstairs and I know which stickers correlate to which point in time so I know which recipes are in which book by looking at the stickers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's sad right so let's have a proper look 
because these are super empowering, super interesting, a little bit unique. They're absolutely freaking gorgeous. I'm in love with the snakes all entwined with each other. A couple of the ravens, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely divine. And I love the Know Your Power one so much that I got two. And this is one of the things that will be in the giveaway. So this is obviously the larger sticker. And I just felt like, firstly, I'm in love with this artwork style. There's a particular lady whose name completely escapes me, but you guys will probably know what I mean. And the artwork is like holding the moon. Um, and it's very similar in style and theme to this. I need to get some of her work actually, because her work is absolutely divine and I love it. But I felt like Know Your Power was a big part of the end of 2018 coming into 2019, like Know Your Power. And if you're on Patreon next month, we're going to be working with the archetype of Morgana Le Fay. And something that keeps coming up with an affirmation with Morgana Le Fay is, I am power and like stepping into your power. And so this really felt super relevant and it kind of, it gave me, gave me a feel good moment within a sticker. The last thing is a pin, which you guys know is one of my favorite things. Boom, boom bitch. Uh, this is the anatomical heart, and apparently I'm boobish so hard that I turned the dishwasher on. <laughs> How I did that, I don't know. Electrical signals coming off my hands. You're welcome, guys. Wow, gurgle, gurgle. I That's great. Thanks, universe. Wonderful. Super. Uh, I will pause the video and stop that from happening. <laughs> The world we live in. Okay, honestly, onwards. More stickers, that's right. More stickers. So this is by Eugene Stickums. Every day is Halloween. And the artist is Archaic Smile, which is nice. I really love these. I found these in a shop where I also found uh, some little pieces of garnet, some teeny tiny ones. They were having a shutdown sale, so... I don't remember the name of the shop, but uh, all I got, I think, all three of these for a pound. So that was really cool. Um, weird. Sitting on a tree with a little spider. She's, she's, I'm feeling her with her very uh, sharp looking hair. Look at this. Every day is Halloween. Yeah. Basically, every day is Halloween, girl. Every day. And then here comes trouble. And this kind of has like that poison plant vibe, the candle, the trees, the skulls. I love the art style. It's fun. It's inventive. It's a little bit... I hadn't seen it before, so I was like, that's super, super cool. So we're actually like feeding into the end of things that I have to show you guys. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh for this month we're keeping it kind of small this month it's january you know um and the next two things are actually gifts so i wanted to show you guys this because this little bad boy right here this little piece of absolute gorgeousness was actually a gift from a very dear friend who i won't mention her name just because she doesn't want me to but this little bad boy he's a ceramic skull but he came from the chapel of bones so he's been like in amongst all of that death energy. He's super Hades, basically. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you haven't seen the web tunes, Hades and Persephone, Lore of Olympus, I'm addicted right now. I'm addicted. Go check that out after this video. If you like, you know, stories and alternate retelling of stories and something that's fun and cute and a little bit different then go for it this same lady also gifted me this you're not going to see what it is yet but uh from the same stories where i got some of the other bits and pieces which is grind store limited so she got me this cool notebook it's absolutely freaking gorgeous has kind of like this matte finish spells and potions you all with the raven front and center absolutely gorgeous and it has el ribbono and also the divider Dong! and then you can see the paper inside like so absolutely gorgeous i love notebooks i am super earth sign with my always writing something always making notes always being inspired by something writing things down i've got notebooks on me at all times 
So Grind Store uh, also is where I purchased a few bits and pieces for the final goodness of this spooky, creepy cute club. So Grind Store is a little bit bigger. It's not so much of a small seller, but I was super in love with some of the things and I had to have them. And the first was this pencil case, which is Nightmare Before Christmas. And it's a coffin. And I just I freaking love it. I freaking love it. I'm sorry, guys, but this is mine. And look. Look. So you get a pencil with the same artwork on. You get a little coffin notebook, which I can't get out without thingy because it's got a whole container in here. Pencil sharpener and erasers. And just to kind of fill my pencil case up, I got one of these. And guess what? I got two of these. So one of these will be in the giveaway. You're welcome, guys. So this is going to rock your world, just like it's rocking mine. I love uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. It's no secret, still in the packaging. <laughs> but ruler, pen, pencil. Second pencil sharpener, because I don't know what it is about pencil sharpeners. They go missing all the time. You can never find one. Uh, and then the little like grouchy face eraser. So I got two of those and one of those is for you guys from the giveaway, which we're going to be covering very soon. But the final piece in the creepy cute unboxing video is actually technically not stationary. He's an altarpiece or she's an altarpiece, but I saw it. It was in the sale and I needed it. <laughs> it was a need, guys. It was a need. Well, actually, I have a feeling this is going to end up being um, for Hades. And yes, he's still around. I dreamt about Hades, not last night, the night before. <laughs> about being, you know. So I'm guessing Morgan's just like, okay, sure, do what you need to do. <laughs> and so this is this absolutely beautiful altarpiece with the tea light holder. Um, and it's obviously a robed figure and it has something very phantom uh, like about it, very death like. Uh, also in that sort of meditative pose. And I was just absolutely in love with this thing. And I was like, I need it for my altar. It's going to look absolutely beautiful. It's surprisingly light. Um, although I will say the really interesting, the, like the detailing carries on all the way around. Um, it looks like a robed figure, but then when you look in here, it's quite Diablo-y actually. If you've ever played the game Diablo, it's kind of like that hooded angel-like figure that they they have um, without and you can't see the, any faces or anything. There you go. It's kind of cool. I really, I really love this. Um, it's, it's very light as well, so it's not like going to be weighing you guys down. So, if you decide to eat one, one, two. So, how do we enter the giveaway? Well, guys, firstly, be subscribed to this channel. Hit the like, please. I will be checking. And leave a comment down below. This is your first chance to enter. There's going to be doop. You have two separate chances to enter into this giveaway. And by the way, those things are not by any means the only things in this giveaway. There's going to be a whole host of other things, uh, including a set of our cards, which I meant to bring downstairs and forgot. But uh, I will share pictures of different bits and pieces that will be going into the giveaway. And I will try and complete this giveaway by mid-February, kind of like around Valentine's, um, and get it sent out. So hit the sub bar if you haven't, hit the little bell if you haven't, <laughs> click the like button down below, down below. What is your creepy cute aim for the year? It doesn't have to be creepy cute, but what would you really like to get out of this year? What would be fun? What would be worth some stationery so you can doodle and make notes and journal about? What would you love to happen this year? And then if you want a second chance, if you want maximum shots of being in the giveaway, then hop on over to Facebook, to the Facebook Story Eyed Supplies page. Links are all down below. And um, it's basically and head on over there make sure you have liked the facebook page and just give me a little heart on my feed and that's all you have to do a little heart i want to see lots of love 
on the Facebook page. <laughs> nice and simple. It doesn't take up too much time and you could be our winner. Winner! And you know that's going to be absolutely fabulous goodies in this giveaway. So there is going to be stationery that I have collected for you guys. There will be things that come from the store. Some incense, maybe some of the new sticky sticks. Or maybe I'll just contact you and be like, girl or boy, what have you always wanted from Starry Ad Suppliers and you've never gotten the chance to order? What would you love? And I will pop something in. Or maybe I'll custom order for you. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> on that aspect anyway I do have bits and pieces to put into the giveaway box so that's for you guys that's to say thank you to the community um, just really just give you guys some love because you guys gave me all of the love all of the support thousands and thousands of you contacted me left me comments left me messages tried to help um, donated when I you know needed it and you guys got me through and so now I'm in a position where I'm okay I want to start giving things back to you. We're also going to have news, plenty of news upcoming. Basically, I'm way behind on these videos. <laughs> way behind. But also, guys, question for you, which you can also leave down, down below, and I'll count it as an entry if you want to answer the question instead. If, would you guys be interested if I was like to do like reviews of things which you guys might find integral or interesting or want witchy reviews but kind of like everyday e things so like for example i've got a lush bag over there with some lush things in it and i was thinking i could do like a little witchy take on reviewing things so it is a review of products such as the lush ones which are sat over there on my table but also like a witch edge like how to incorporate that into spell work and stuff how would you guys feel about that? Would you enjoy that? Would you watch that? Would you not give a damn about that? Down below, pop me, let me know. Is it worth my time making? Is it worth your time watching? Anyway, that's it for this particular video. Thank you guys for being with me. Uh, many blessings. And I'll catch you on the next one.